As many folks know by now, a defining moment in my career as a prosecutor was bringing to justice two former Ku Klux Klansmen for the bombing of Birmingham's 16th Street Baptist Church in 1963. That act of domestic terrorism, and that's exactly what it was, an act of domestic terrorism, killed four innocent, beautiful little girls. And as one of their mothers, Ms. Alpha Robertson, described, it sounded like the whole world was shaking. But despite the feeling that the whole world shook, and indeed the horrific crime did add momentum to the civil rights movement, the criminals responsible for mur the murder of those four little girls were not brought to justice for decades. But the bombing of the 16th Street Baptist Church was but one of many civil rights era crimes that have gone unsolved. Eleven years ago, nearly to the day, I testified as a lawyer before the House Judiciary Committee and as I said, following the cases of Tommy Blanton and Bobby Frank Cherry, justice delayed will not have to be justice denied. But justice, Mr. President, can take many forms. It doesn't always have to be a criminal conviction. One measure of justice, not a full measure, but a measure nonetheless, can be achieved through a public examination of the facts and determination of the truth about what happened and why. This legislation would not have been possible without the dedicated efforts of students at Heightstown High School in Heightstown, New Jersey, and their teacher, Stuart Wexler. Civil Rights Cold Case Collect Records Collection Act it refers to a bunch of unsolved civil rights related murders in the 1960s during the civil rights era. And now uh, there are a lot of prosecutors and a lot of journalists trying to solve those murders and figure out how to get justice for those families. I chose to focus on this bill in particular because it's important to uncover the um, dirt that has kind of made our history dark and it's really important to bring light to these cases and I think that this bill can really help us achieve that. The victims of these crimes and their families have no less right to justice than they did at the time the crimes were committed. And the American people have a right to know this part of our nation's history. As has often been said, if we do not learn from the mistakes of the past, we are doomed to repeat them. While prosecuting the church bombing case, I learned how deeply important this work is to anyone who lost a loved one just because someone else hated the color of their skin. It's also important to the communities where these crimes occur. It is impossible to express the emotion and satisfaction our team felt at the conclusion of those trials and the guilty verdicts we obtained. It was a privilege to work on cases that meant so much to so many. We have come a long way, Mr. President, since 1963. But justice delayed does not have to be justice denied. One of the most horrific murder cases in our nation's history has been reopened a decade after it was closed. Federal prosecutors are relaunching the investigation into the 1955 killing of Emmett Till, a crime so disturbing that it galvanized the civil rights movement.